Welcome back. To everyone who have seen the first part of the video. In the second part. We are here to enable Samba network file sharing. The Raspberry Pi device will show up here. And on every local network device. For Windows. We open command prompt. For Mac OS. You have terminal. Begin login to your Raspberry Pi via SSH. If you already update the package libraries, you can skip these two commands. To install Samba, enter this line. Enter Y. At this yes and no question. Choose no here and move on. Create a download folder to share it on Samba. This line will open Samba configuration. Get to the bottom of the page. Here we add the download folders to share. Follow every exact line. To save, hold Ctrl and press X on the keyboard. Enter Y for yes, then press Enter to save. Don't close your terminal or command prompt yet. There is a few more commands left. It is mandatory to create a password for your Samba network. Remember, this is your Samba password not to log in to the Raspberry Pi. Now you can restart the Samba service. I will demonstrate a download on the server and access it via local network sharing. Paste the link here. Check this box to create a subfolder for your download package. You can change the download path here. Check auto start to begin download after submit. If not, it will stay in the link collection tabs. The web interface doesn't update in real time, but the download progress is. And it's already done. Now we go to our network sharing drives and look for our download. There it is. You can copy to your computer hard drive or keep it here. This is the end for the tutorial. I hope you find this guide useful. Please leave a like and comment your thought. Thank you for watching, goodbye.